The United States of America is known for being the land of the free. Strict rules are in place to maintain order. There are laws in America that are just a bit weird, outdated, and questionable at best. In most states, you'll find a number of bizarre laws like these still exist on the books. Here are 12 bizarre things you absolutely can't do in America. What's up, Factnatics? This is Discovery Amuse, serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out of this world fun facts. Stay tuned to find out our top pick that is so bizarre it's bordering on creepy. All right, speak up. If you mumble, you're going to jail. Number 12. Selfies with Tigers, New York. You can count on men in dating apps to get uber creative with tier profile photos. After all, it only takes a second before you get a swipe left, so better put your best foot forward, right? They call me Tinder. When I swipe left, people Die. In fact, at the height of the dating app Tinder, one in ten users, typically men, have used photos of themselves with unrestrained tigers and lions. A lot of people began to be overwhelmingly concerned about this because it screamed of animal exploitation. So in response, the state of New York passed a law in 2014 prohibiting direct contact between the public and wild cats in zoos, circuses, and carnivals. Sorry, Tiger King, you may have to take those big cat selfies somewhere else for now. I looked at a tiger. Tiger looked right back. Keep watching because our number one pick is what fantasy horror movies are made of. Number 11. Eating fried chicken with a fork. Georgia. Gainesville, Georgia is the self-proclaimed poultry capital of the world. That being said, they are quite serious about their laws on chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken, to be exact. In 1961, a law was enacted which made eating fried chicken with anything other than your bare hands absolutely prohibited. In effect, it became illegal to use utensils such as forks and knives to eat fried chicken. Why are you eating fried chicken with a fork and a butter knife? It started as a publicity stunt to solidify their status as the world's poultry capital. Kentucky is not amused. Anybody in their right mind knows that KFC's Chicken Little is the world's best chicken sandwich. And make no mistake, because the law is still enforced to this day. Number 10. Killing Bigfoot, Washington. Ever fantasized about slaying the monster you were most scared of as a kid? Well, it better not be the Bigfoot, especially if you're from Washington. Yes! I have single-handedly vanquished the beast! A 1969 ordinance in Skamania County, Washington banned people from killing Bigfoot or a Sasquatch, should they ever find it, that is. Offenders would be charged with a felony that is punishable by five years imprisonment. It may have started as a joke, but since a lot of armed hunters have actually been coming to Skamania in search of Bigfoot, the county saw it as a threat. Get out of here! Can't you see we don't want you anymore? However, to ensure that they are able to protect both locals and tourists while not denying people of their Second Amendment right, authorities decided to make some changes to the ordinance. The amendment declares Skamania County as a refuge for the Sasquatch because it is an endangered species. The penalty was also reduced to a gross misdemeanor that comes with a $1,000 fine or a year in county jail. Number 9. Cutting a cactus, Arizona. The saguaro is a tree-like cactus commonly found in the Sonoran Desert, and it has become the iconic symbol of the state of Arizona. So most of the saguaro cactus are 35 to 40 feet, which is a three to four story building. So naturally, they had to create a law to protect their prized possession. An Arizona state law provides in part that it is unlawful for a person to destroy, dig up, mutilate, cut, harvest, or take any living, highly safeguarded native plant or its parts, including its seeds and fruit. It is a class four felony, which is punishable by up to four years imprisonment. And just so you don't get any funny ideas, in 2014, a 16 year old boy was arrested by the Scottsdale police after staff of Pinnacle Peak Park saw him hiking up the trail with a machete and the staff saw a saguaro with a large part of it cut off. 
he was released to his mother but ended up facing criminal charges. Number 8. Billboard Advertising Hawaii You're wondering why the paradise state of Hawaii is devoid of any billboard ads that might ruin its gorgeous views? That's because an anti-billboard law was enacted in 1927 through the initiatives of a group called Outdoor Circle, a beautification brigade that pushed for strict signage regulations in order to preserve the state's natural beauty that over 8 million tourists travel to Hawaii for every year. Exceptions to this law include official notices and signs. Everything else is a no-no. Eventually, Vermont followed suit in 1968, Maine in 1977, and Alaska in 1998. Number 7. Dying Poultry, Rhode Island This one might sound so random at first, but stay with me on this. The law in Rhode Island states that it is unlawful for any person to die a chick, duckling, or other live poultry or to have in his possession a chick, duckling, or other live poultry that has been died. According to state law, this is a misdemeanor punishable by up to a few months in jail and or a fine of up to $500. Apparently, Easter is to blame for this odd rule. The law aims to protect chicks from animal cruelty perpetrated by the Easter tradition of dying and selling them in fairs. Apart from turning them into aesthetic objects, which are then neglected, the process by which some of these chicks are dyed are questionable, too. But Rhode Island isn't alone in curbing this type of foul play, since California and Florida have also enacted similar laws. Number 6. Honking your horn, Arkansas. Being hangry is a real and serious thing, so don't mess with someone who's in the middle of fasting. You snore so loud, I can feel it in my endoplasmic reticulums. Hi, can we please order? But you better watch your temper when you're in the natural state. In the city of Little Rock, Arkansas, it is prohibited to sound any horn or signal device on any automobile while not in motion, except as a danger signal. The law initially prohibited civilians from honking their horns for drive-up service after 11 p.m. as a means to minimize disturbances for such establishments surrounding neighbors. Number 5. Sharing Passwords, Tennessee Even before Netflix started cracking down on password sharing, Tennessee proved to be ahead of the curve when it passed the login law in June of 2011, which made it illegal to share login information for entertainment sites such as Netflix, Hulu, and Rhapsody. Do you have the password? The password, Hank. If I could just get the password. Where are we at with the password? Who has the password? Who owns this password? According to the state's government page, you could face a fine of up to $500 for violating this law and one year in prison. It is not uncommon for hackers to sell passwords to access these popular streaming sites. And with this law in place, if you're caught, you could also be charged with a felony. Now, how about a law against exes still using your login credentials after you break up? Just saying. Number four, teaching polygamy, Mississippi. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, apart from the Bible prohibiting polygamy, Mississippi takes it a step further by actually banning the mere mm -hmm. teaching of it. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. The Mississippi Code states that anyone who teaches another person the doctrines, principles, or tenets of polygamy shall be fined up to $500 and be imprisoned in the county jail for up to six months. And there is certainly no escaping because the law also includes persuading someone to move to any other state or territory for the purpose of practicing polygamy. No one has more than one wife anymore. We simply don't do it. I do it. <laughs> oh, and on a side note, adventurous eaters in Mississippi should also be forewarned. Selling the meat of a cat for food is definitely not legal here, too. <laughs> Number three, pretending to be married, North Carolina. Southern states continue to have old-fashioned laws relating to public decency, especially pertaining to marriage. One of them is North Carolina, where it is illegal to pretend to be married when checking into a hotel room. That includes not correcting someone who assumes you are a married couple. 
By common law marriage rules in the state, that man and woman would legally be married. Pretending to be a married couple is considered a class two misdemeanor punishable by a thousand dollar fine and 60 days in jail. Well, better put your affairs in order to avoid going behind bars if you know what I mean. It's not my job to make you feel like a man. I can't make you something you're not. Number two, going outside with a cold, Washington. By now, we've already learned the importance of social distancing and keeping our masks on. I'd like to keep it on, please. And mind you, if you're in Washington, you might even get arrested for going out with a cold or flu. <laughs> The revised Code of Washington states that every person that willfully exposes himself to another with any contagious or infectious disease in any public place or thoroughfare shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. So pandemic or not, when you're feeling under the weather, stay the freak home. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, drinking blood, Louisiana. Is it not enough? just to have a long and happy life with me. Attention, Edward Cullen, I'm afraid you can't do that in Louisiana because the state prohibits ritualistic acts to preserve public peace, health, morals, safety, and welfare. This includes the ingestion of human or animal blood or human or animal waste. Any violation of this could land you in jail for five years with a fine of 5,000 bucks. So no hemoglobin smoothies for you too, Bella. Tis. Good. And while we're on the subject of rituals and religion, anything that is passed among worshipers during a religious service is also banned in states like Nebraska and New Hampshire. So, are there any other bizarre laws in your own city that people should know of? Let us know in the comment section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? Now, let the record show that America isn't alone with its outrageous rules. Just check out our list of the 13 craziest laws around the world. Till then, stay law-abiding, fact and see you in the next video.